add about Chainlink. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Chainlink has market cap of about five billion dollars. Okay, Microsoft paid twenty six billion for LinkedIn. Okay, yeah. and I remember back in the day when everyone thought it was outrageous when Google paid one billion for YouTube. So these numbers, you know, even though the run ups have been a lot, these numbers are actually small. Um, you know, I think I think I'm 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 good if any unless anybody's got any questions. <laughs> I think my my message to the retail investor is, you know, we have a section on the show called crypto therapy, right, where we go through charts and stuff. But in this particular case, I think people may actually need you know, actual therapy, right? <laughs> so in this case, you know, the, the retail guy came in in July and August and they, they bought the top, right? And we all know that, you know, losses have twice the pain, you know, losses are twice as pain as, you as, know, gains. as gains are. Yeah. And, and then there's the idea that you ran in and bought the top. On top of that, so what I'm telling people is this, if you lost money, you've got something in common with the greatest traders out there. Okay. Yeah. Um, Cause they've all blown a lot of the greatest traders blow up like Warren Buffett sold airlines at the bottom. Right. Yeah. It's happened to everybody. Right. Not only do you lose, but you buy the top or sell the low on top of that. And the most important thing in a bull market is short memory. Right. If, if you dwell on it, and, you know, ETH flashes to 300, right? Or there's a dip, then you're going to be too, your head's not going to be right to take advantage of it. Yeah. So on one hand, welcome to crypto. Uh, you're looking at the faces who are going to help you, yeah. right? And everybody here wants to have you make money regardless of what channel you're, you're watching, right? So if you lost money, you know, I grew up in New Jersey. Forget about it. <laughs> There'll be another trade. Yeah, short term well memory, said. man. Well said. Like I, I find, like a lot of people I, that are also in this space. Some of them came from sports, and can, you can really resonate some similar things. Like yeah, like we were talking about football when when Ben was here, right? So keep a short term memory, right? Like you make a mistake on a play, just try not to make that same play, that same mistake again, write it down, you know, make sure that you remind yourself, I did this and it was wrong and this is why, and then learn from it and then go on and just keep, keep pushing and use risk management. So you never get wrecked. I mean, I have a video on my, on my channel that you guys can watch. It's literally a risk management video. How do you do it properly? So you know how much you're going to lose before you even start. So you never get emotional. And if you make a mistake, it's okay because it won't wreck you. So I think that's another big piece to the puzzle is learn how to manage your risk. Don't go put a 20x trade and lose your whole account for no reason when you could literally be using 1% or 2% risk. And if you lose it, it sucks, but it's not going to kill you. You'll have capital to trade another day. So yeah, have I blown up accounts? For sure. That's part of the education. Just call it that. Like your education you pay for in university, forty, fifty, hundred thousand dollars $100,000 to get your schooling. Well, in, in, in crypto, you, you get your education and you learn. And if you get wrecked, it's okay. You can make more money. You can start all over again. And uh, it's hard, but you learn from it. And I think that's the most important part is that you don't take it as a, I'm the worst person or you don't get hard on yourself. You just say, all right, that was a bad choice. Taking that, taking consideration what you did wrong, how you did it wrong, write it down, journal it, and then don't make those mistakes again. Because it's really up to you if you're going to be successful. And it's up to you if you're going to be smarter, you're going to gamble or you're going to actually trade. Because there's most people in this space are gamblers. They're not really traders. Uh, and traders use risk management. So practice that and uh, you'll be okay no matter what the market tells you. Good stuff. Coach K? Cheers. <laughs> Anything on your end, Crypto Love? Yeah, I think just uh, optimism and perspective and gratitude because a lot of people you know they say like the best time to buy something is 10 years ago but the second best time is now and everybody yeah. wants to have bought bitcoin 10 years ago and wants to have bought chain like a year ago and wants to have done all this wants to have bought uh urine finance three months ago but here's the thing we are literally the tiniest minority of the population 
in cryptocurrency right now. And it's really just the beginning. Like people are just now talking about money going over to digital money. There's the government's talking about going over to digital money. And it's like, oh, no shit. No kidding. We've been talking about <laughs> cryptocurrencies forever, you know? And so like just having that little bit of perspective that, yeah, opportunities were missed. It happens. There's 5,000 cryptocurrencies. You're going to miss a ton of opportunities, but just being where you are in the cryptocurrency space, if you don't lose everything from making bad mistakes right now, you're going to be set pretty well in the future. Yeah. Well said. Well, well said. said. Well, well yeah. said Mindset. Mindset's so important. I agree. 